بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي Revision for grade 8 second report exam Dear students First of all, we would like to tell you that we are doing our best to help you and we all wish you good luck. Your exam consists of three main parts. Part one is three reading comprehension texts. Part two is writing strategies and word knowledge. Part three is two writing compositions. Are you ready? Yes, of course. You are always ready. Let's start our revision. Attention, please. Part one, reading comprehension. Please, before starting answering the questions, you have to read. Please read, read, read before answering. Reading comprehension one. Read the text, then answer questions 1, 2, and 3. Put X to indicate the correct answer. A healthy lifestyle is something that most people work toward at their goal. In order to achieve this goal, people must learn what is healthy and what is not healthy. Being healthy means eating right and exercising. Eating healthy can make you feel better about yourself. Nutritionists advise to eat steamed vegetables and rice, eat fruit and drink much water. Eating right keeps you fit and healthy. It protects your body and fights dangerous diseases like blood pressure and cancer. School canteens must be urged to sell only highly nutritious food and drinks. Soft drinks and the crisps that are full of fat and sugar should be banned. A healthy diet alone is not enough to ensure a healthy body. Physical activity helps to keep one in shape and free of sickness and diseases as well. Lots of people spend hours in front of the television and don't nearly get enough exercise. Scientists nutritionists and doctors agree that regular exercising and eating healthy food are good for the brain mood and brain development daily exercise is vital therefore schools should give at least two physical education classes a week Having a healthy lifestyle is what you make it. It is not as hard as people say. You just have to change habits and get used to eating healthier. Eating healthy and taking exercising are all part of maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Answer the following questions. Number one, to live healthy lifestyle, people should learn. Learn what? English and French, Arabic and science. What food is the most expensive? 
what is healthy and what is not healthy. Yes. D is the right answer. What is healthy and what is not healthy. Very good boys. Question number two. Eating right food fights fights what? Bad animals, insects and flies, serious diseases, boys and girls in schools. Think. Try to remember the text. Try to remember what you have read. Yes, serious diseases is the right answer. Eating right food fights serious diseases. Question number three. What should schools give students? Two or three meals a week? Two or physical education classes a week? Two apples and a can of Pepsi a day? Two or three homeworks every day? Remember, schools, schools should give students two physical education classes a week. Two physical education classes a week. Well done. Go on. Question four. What food do nutritionists advise people to eat? What food do nutritionists advise people to eat? Yes. Nutritionists advise to eat steamed vegetables and rice, eat fruit and drink much water. Thanks. Fantastic. To have the last question. Oh, let's move to comprehension two. Reading comprehension two. Read the text, then answer questions one, two, and three. Put X to indicate the correct answer. Something is very wrong, said the detective. I know, says Miss Baker. It is wrong that someone has stolen from me. The detective looks around Miss Baker's apartment. That is not what I am talking about, ma'am. What is wrong is that I do not understand how the robber got in and out. Miss Baker and the detective stand in silence. Miss Baker's eyes are full of tears. Her hands are shaking. The robber did not come through the window, said the detective. These windows have not been opened or shut in months. The detective looks at the fireplace. The robber did not squeeze down here. The detective walks to the front door. He examines the door lock. And since there are no marks or scratches, the robber definitely did not try to break the lock. I have no idea how he did it, said a brother, Miss Baker. It is a big mystery. And you say the robber stole nothing else, asked the detective. No money, no jewelry, no crystal. That's right, detective. He took only what was important to me. 
Miss Baker says with a sigh. There is only one thing I can do now. And what is that? The detective asks with surprise. I will stop baking cakes, Miss Baker says. They are mine to give away. They are not for someone to steal. You can't do that, said the detective with alarm. Who will bake those delicious cakes? I am sorry, I do not know, says Miss Baker. I must solve this case immediately, said the detective. Question number one. Number five. Where does this story take place? Where does this story take place? Yes, in Mrs. Baker's apartment. Where does this story take place? In a bakery? In Mrs. Baker's house? At the police station? In Mrs. Baker's apartment? Well, you can go back to the text if you need. Let's see the text. Let's read. The detective looks around Mrs. Baker apartment. Yes. So the answer is D. In Mrs. Baker's apartment. Number six. What does the word a mystery mean? Mystery means what? Something that is wrong, something a robber leaves behind, something that cannot be explained, or something that happens at night. Yes, the answer is something that cannot be explained. Amazing men. Thank you. Move to question number seven. How does Miss Baker feel? How does Miss Baker feel? If you go back quickly to the text, yes, if you need to go back to the text, you have to do to check your answer to be sure. No problem. Where is she? Yes. Miss Baker's eyes are full of tears. Her hands are shaking. It means that she was, was she happy? How does she feel? How does Miss Baker feel? Of course, she is upset. Upset. Not like this. Well, finished. Let's move to comprehension number three. Reading Comprehension 3 Read the text then answer questions 1, 2 and 3 Put X to indicate the correct answer Tennis is a sport played between two players, singles or between two teams of two players, doubles each player uses a tennis racket to strike a hollow rubber ball covered with felt. To win, you must hit the ball into the opponent's court without the opponent being able to hit the ball back. Tennis originated in the United Kingdom in the late 19th century. At first, people played tennis on courts made of grass. These were called lawn courts. Now, tennis is played by millions of people all over the world. The rules 
of tennis have changed very little since it was created in the 1819s. Most tennis players play tennis because it is fun. It also is a good way to get exercise. While playing tennis, you do a lot of running. You move your arms and legs in many ways that they do not normally move. Smile. Relax. Now let's start with question number 8. What do you use to hit a tennis ball? You use a bat, a striker, a racket, or a boot. It's very easy, of course. A racket. Smile again. Good boys. It's an easy question. Now, did you smile today? Smile again. Question number nine. When did people start playing tennis ball? When did people start playing tennis ball? The late 17th century, at the late 18th century, the late 19th century, or the late 20th century. And such questions, you have to go back to the passage to be sure. Yes. Tennis originated in the United Kingdom in the late 19th century. 19th century. So, your answer is yes, the late 19th century. century. The late 19th century. How do you feel now? Take it easy, okay? Question number nine at number ten. Question number ten. Why do most people play tennis? Why do most people play tennis? Think well. You can go back to the passage. Go back quickly. Yes. Most tennis players play tennis because it is fun. It also it is also a good way to get exercise. So why do most people play tennis? Because it is fun. End of part one. Thanks boys. Smile and get active. Now smile. When life gives you a hundred reasons to cry, Show life that you have a thousand reasons to smile. Smile. Part two, writing strategies and word knowledge. Number one, choose the word that belongs in the blank. This is the blank. I want to watch the match. Can you turn the TV, please? Can you turn the TV on? Or turn the TV off? Or turn it around? Or turn the TV up? To watch the match. Of 
course turn it on number two choose the word that belongs in the blank and this is the blank tennis is played in a court 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 what is the right word what is the right spelling here it's court yes C choose the correct prefix to find the opposite the opposite of the underlined word in the following sentence this is the underlined word there are some real verbs in English you have to study them well the suitable prefix for the word regular is n n regular or r r regular or l l regular or an regular think quickly the answer is yes irregular r is the suitable prefix choose the word that my friend has studied in usa three years he speaks english well for three years since three years whenever three years whatever three years the answer is for three years because it's a limit time a limit period three years choose the word that belongs in the blank good students always their homework on time go always go their homework always do their homework always make their homework always take their homework yes the right is do do their homework do exercises do housework do this is the use of do you can say make just say do find the word that match the underlined phrase this is the underlined phrase I was walking in the street when I saw a big pocket to my surprise the policemen were watching him to my surprise means what then or finally or suddenly or amazingly your right answer is amazingly yes find the word that has a similar spelling similar spelling to the underlined word the sea was so rough what we couldn't sell the sea was so rough that we couldn't sell rough has similar spelling to high rough high riot tough way of course rough tough yes it's a tough looking for a dictionary for two hours in the end i found it in the library the word that match the phrase in the end is then i found it finally i found it suddenly i found it amazingly and the end means yes finally good boys find the word that match the opposite of the underlined find the word 
that matched the opposite of the underlined. The kidnapper kidnapped a little boy, but fortunately, the police caught him and saved the boy. Fortunately, the opposite is unluckily, finally, unfortunately, amazingly. Your answer is yes, very nice. Unfortunately, the opposite of fortunately. But the opposite of luckily is unluckily. Luckily, unluckily. Well, choose the word that belongs in the blank. A, what? This is the blank. Broke into my neighbor's house last night. House. Murderer. Burglar. Pickpocket. Or a mugger. The thief who steals houses is? Yes. Burglar. Choose the word that belongs in the blank. The theft took place at 18th of March or in 18th of March or on 18th of March or near 18th of March. Simple position of time. Which one? Yes, it's on. Because 18th of March, 18th of March is a day, not a month. In four months, you can say in March. At four hours, at five o'clock, at six o'clock, but on on Sunday, on Saturday, on 18th of March, it's the day a day of the month, not the month itself. Move. Tom was studying, his sister was watching TV. As soon as his sister was watching TV, or while his sister was watching TV, or usually his sister was watching TV, or whatever, his sister was watching TV. Of course, this is past progressive. And past progressive, the correct answer is Y. Move. Next question. You are very good students. Aren't he? Aren't you? You aren't. Shall we? You are very good students. You are. You are. Change. Are. You. The positive changes into negative. So it will be aren't you. Good. Anna had tried on the dress after she put it before she put it when she put it as soon as she put it yes it's past perfect and past symbol and the right answer is is before. Thanks boys. As I told you before, we all wish you good luck. Relax. Smile. Get ready to write your paragraphs or your writing compositions.